There are two instances where the Alexa red light ring will show. The first is if the disable microphone button has been pressed, while the second is if there are problems with your Wi-Fi connection. Stay tuned to find out how to fix these issues. Hey, this is Daniel from Smart Home Perfected. In today's video, we'll be discussing the Alexa red ring and ways to fix it if you're having problems. If any of these tips help, it'd be great if you give the video a like below and subscribe if you'd like to get notified of more of our smart home content. It helps us grow our channel and reach more people. To help out other viewers, by all means, leave a comment below telling us what did and didn't work for you. All right, let's jump in. The first scenario is if the disabled microphone button has been pressed. All Echo speakers come with omnidirectional microphones, which pick up voice commands for Alexa to respond to. They also come with a privacy feature that allows you to disable these microphones. As I have an Echo speaker here in my office, I use this feature when on work calls to avoid Alexa mishearing a command and interrupting my meetings. To enable it, you simply press the disable microphone button, which is that one there. And as you can see, the red live ring shows. And then to disable it and re-enable your microphone, you press it again and the red live ring should disappear. Amazon Echo Show devices also have a disable microphone feature along with a privacy shutter for the camera. It's worth noting that this disabled microphone feature results in a solid red light ring showing at the top of speakers that are second or third gen echo speakers. And then for fourth or fifth gen speakers, it shows at the bottom. If you have a flashing red light, the problem is actually related to Wi-Fi as opposed to your microphone. So we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. So problems you might have with this disabled microphone feature. If you press the button to re-enable the microphones and the solid red light ring remains, then your echo speaker may have frozen or might have glitched and it might need a reboot. In this case, you simply power cycle the speaker by removing the power cable from the outlet, waiting 30 seconds to one minute for the memory to clear out, and then you plug it back in. Wait for it to boot up and see if the problem has resolved itself. If that doesn't work, there may be damage to or an obstruction with the microphone button itself, which might need a repair or replacement. So at that point, you want to be checking if you're still under warranty. The second scenario relates to Wi-Fi issues, as I mentioned. If your Echo speaker is struggling to connect to Wi-Fi or cannot connect to the internet via the Wi-Fi network, it can also display a red ring. The difference between this red ring and the microphone muted red ring is this one flashes, whereas the other one is solid. From my testing, the Echo second and third gen speakers show the red ring during connectivity issues, whereas the fourth and fifth gen speakers don't. I think this is because fourth and fifth gen speakers have a Zigbee hub built in, so even without interconnection, the device still can work properly. There are a number of potential causes and solutions to this issue, which I'm gonna go through. If someone plugged out your router, or if it has frozen, then Alexa won't be able to connect to it. My first protocol is always to see if the router is powered on and if there are activity lights showing. Then I stand beside the router with my smartphone, disable mobile data, connect it to the Wi-Fi network and see if I can access something online. If you can access the internet on your smartphone, then you know the Wi-Fi router isn't the problem. So at that point, I recommend moving the speaker closer to the router to rule out any interference or signal issues. If you can't access the internet while testing on your smartphone, then you need to power cycle your router. So plug that out wait 60 seconds and then plug that back in again. It usually takes a few minutes for the router to come back online, connects it to the internet. The second cause might be your internet connection may be down. So your router might be working fine, um, but there might be no data coming through your broadband connection. This can happen if there's a local outage. On my phone, I usually check to see if my ISP is having uptime issues in my area. Um, and if, if they are, I usually just wait for it to resolve itself. The third cause might be that the Wi-Fi details may have changed. So your router is fine, it's operating indicator lights showing, um, but maybe the password has changed, the network name might have changed, um, or maybe you've got a new router, maybe you changed your internet service provider. These can all result in a flash in red ring. Uh, in this case, you'd need to reconfigure the Wi-Fi network on your Echo device. When doing this, I recommend you have Bluetooth enabled on your phone and it speeds up the commissioning process. Um, and then if you have, if you're on Android, I recommend having the find nearby devices permission enabled as well. So for this, you go to the Alexa app, click devices at the bottom, then click Echo and Alexa at the top, which then loads the list of Echo speakers and displays that you have. You click into the Echo speaker that's causing you issues, and then you click Wi-Fi under status or you can go into settings at the top right um, and click Wi-Fi network. Then this loads the settings where you can see Wi-Fi network and then you can click the change button. From here then you need to press the action button on your Echo device for five to 15 seconds, depending on which generation of Echo you have, um, at which point the orange light will then spin. So then you can click yes. It will then search for the Wi-Fi network. Because you're changing the Wi-Fi network, it's not going to try to uh, assign itself to the pre-existing Wi-Fi network. So you'll be able to select from the list. You'll then be able to enter the password. And then that should be it. You should be connected now to the new network. 
In some cases, changes to Wi-Fi security settings can hinder your Echo device from connecting to the network. You can go to your router settings page on a web browser to see if your Echo device is registered on the network or not, and if not, then review the various firewall and security settings to see if anything could be hindering the connection. The ins and outs of this are a little bit outside of the scope of this video. So the fourth reason could be a glitch with the speaker itself. If your Wi-Fi network is working fine, it has an internet connection, which isn't blocking the device from connecting, then it may be a problem with the speaker. In this instance, I usually just unplug the speaker, leave it for 30 to 60 seconds, and then plug it back in and see as it fixed itself. Finally, it's possible that the software has corrupted itself inside the speaker. This can happen due to a bad firmware update or one that was interrupted where the power was cut halfway through. In this scenario, it's usually best to factory reset your speaker. So you do this by holding the action button for 30 seconds, and it usually takes about a minute then for the speaker to start setting itself up. There you have it. I hope this video helps in getting your Echo speaker back up and running. As mentioned earlier, if any of these tips helped, it'd be great if you gave the video a like below and subscribe for more Alexa support content. And to help out other viewers, let us know what worked for you and what didn't work for you in the comments below. That's great. See you in the next video.